Hi everybody, Chris here from Truly Holistic. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new product. It's just, I've just put it up on the website today, on my product store, called the Quantum Ring. All right, um, now I'm really excited about this particular product. Again, it's very simple, it's just a tensor ring, but with a new cubit measure, which a cubit means energetic, all right? And energetic means genetics, right? So when we look at DNA, we look at genetics. Essentially, we're looking at energetics that then goes into programming how a component or of the body or the body is going to then function, okay? So we know now genetics means energetics. And when we twist wire, Right, this is the whole thing about tensor technology. You twist the wire, you cut it to a specific measurement. Quite often people call it a sacred measurement, which is called a qubit. And qubit means it now facilitates energetics, right? We bring it into a circle like this, braise the end, so we close the loop. It now becomes a physical anchor for etheric energetics, right? So this one has a specific purpose, and this is why we're calling it the quantum. Um, is because we, our authenticity as a soul, a soul consciousness, comes from the quantum, right? So we obviously want more of ourself, more of our energetics to be realized here, which people would usually use in genes as gene expression. Okay. Now, the whole thing about how this also connects to ascension is ascension is all about facilitating every aspect of our consciousness to be represented and present here. That's what ascension is all about. Because ascension is not about generally the human. The human was an identity given to us by the world, not and which led to the accumulation of conditioning of what we then, the world needed us to become, what the mind and its thoughts wanted us to become, not necessarily what we're authentically. And when I'm talking about us coming from the quantum, us as a soul, we're talking about your authenticity that needs to come to the fore, that is there, that's always been there. We need to shrug this conditioning off, right? So the quantum comes from a pathway we call the heart field pathway, right? Because we got here through the heart, okay? I mentioned this in videos before, right? Where, when we are, before we are birthed, okay? When the embryo is forming, when the heart forms, that's when us, the soul, comes through, right? So the vehicle right or the rental we're going to use for a lifetime is being built but it's not we don't arrive until that heart is formed we come through the heart so the heart is a portal it's a doorway right and that's the only thing that has in common with the mind the mind's also a doorway a portal but it facilitates something else it doesn't facilitate the quantum okay the quantum goes through the heart right and quantum means everything right so you know this is why when we get more people in their heart, right, which is the heart, your heart becomes open when you start to present your natural state, which is called a state of being. This is why we're classified as human beings. And the cosmic joke is, right, we're called human beings, but no one knows how to be. Why? Because as part of the human conditioning, what built the curriculum in becoming a human? The mind and its thoughts did. And that's why we embody it as our primarily use of discernment from that point onwards which compromises the heart the heart closes off we see that day to day with our clients you know there's there's no doubt about that anymore right and what do we do people come to me lack of clarity right they're conflicted confused heaviness in the body hit the world on the weight of the world on their shoulders pressure on their chest lethargy through the body 45 minutes later, how are they feeling? They have clarity, they have calmness, they feel lighter. And what have we essentially done? We've opened all the doors to get them back into their heart, back into their authenticity, 
facilitating where they come from, which is the quantum. Okay? So that's where the quantum comes from. Now, before we get into the specific role of this new product, this new energetic, we must understand, we've talked about what the heart provides. What does the mind provide? As I mentioned, right? The mind and the heart, the only thing they have in common is they are a portal doorway to facilitate an intelligence or consciousness. Now, you, your authenticity comes through the heart, but the driving force of humanity, hence taking on all this conditioning, all the things that you're not, is another intelligence, right? And that starts off from the void, right? And void means nothingness, right? This is why humanity embodies a mentality we call the mentality of lack because lack means nothing we need more right and i'm sure anybody out there have come across people that thought they just drain the energy out of you right they're parasitic well everything that comes every let's say every person or every interface that has is facilitating the void through the mind right because they're being discerned by the mind not the heart they become a representation of the void and everything that comes from the void is parasitic. Why? Because it's an intelligence that wants to evolve like any other intelligence or consciousness, but it doesn't have the means to do it because it needs energy. Where does it get that energy from? You. Because where do you come from? From a place that's got a lot of energy, the quantum. Okay. So for example, cancer, that's a parasitic intelligence that comes from the void. So see the void as <clears throat> a black hole, right? Black hole, what does a black hole do to a star? It draws the light away from the star into itself, right? It's, it's feeding, it's taking energy away from the star, right? It's parasitic, right? And what's that force that's doing it? It's, it's got the most strongest gravitational force. When you look up the Latin word for gravity, it means heaviness. Right? So when we are generally have the weight of the world on our shoulders, pressure on our chest, sickness and illness, right, where we feel that heaviness through our body, our lethargy, right? What does that mean? It's like someone dialed up gravity to a thousand percent, right? That's, that's gravity, right? That's, that's the mind. That's what the mind facilitates. So when you're in that state, you know that you're not in your heart. You're up here, right? Because you're allowing something that's not you to utilize your energy in a way that supports it, and not you, right? Okay, so that's a void. And of course, I see that as a black hole. So how will we see the quantum that is facilitated through the heart as a white hole, right? A gravit so the gravitational pull, it draws everything into itself in a black hole. A white hole gives you energy. That's levity, right? And the Latin word for levity is light. Your light, your consciousness, how about that? Right, so that, that completely lines up, right? So it's presenting your light, it's presenting your consciousness, it's supporting you, not taking things away, working against you, right? So this is the whole thing that we do at Truly Holistic. Now we've been working with a whole lot of stuff about parasitic energies, and this could mean, you know, from one person's perspective, the macro and micro parasites in the body, right? Worms, right? This could go to a point of um, archons, demons, the demonic aspect, consciousness or intelligence, reptilians. All of this comes from this one pathway. And have they got it good right at the moment? Yes, because the majority of humans are facilitating something they're not, which is the mind. Right? And holding an identity that's not them, the human. You are infinitely a consciousness of soul. Right? And this is the problem when we don't know what we authentically are. Because we play a game that we are putting all the odds against ourselves and we're putting all the odds in favor of that, of that demonic parasitic intelligence. Right? AI is that too. AI comes from the void, the mind. Right? And 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 isn't it controlling humanity, right? Now, this is the thing, right? Why have we, why have we fell over and showing our belly to AI to just let it do what it wants to do for us? Is because humans forged by the mind, right? The mind facilitates the void, something that we're not, 
right, to to present all these things to our convenience. And we think, wow, that, wow, this is a new age, right, of all these technologies and things like that. But the problem is, humanity gave up because we didn't even explore our innate intelligence, our natural intelligence of its capabilities. We, even, we didn't even touch the surface. And the big reason is because when we get here, because we got here as the soul first, remember, before you even birth, you got here as the soul. You had a purpose as the soul here. But you immediately got conditioned into embodying the mind as you instead of what comes through the heart, right? Which means then we adopted that lack, thinking we lack, which then enticed us with AI. And then AI made us think we created AI technology, but it was playing us all along, okay? Because who created thought? Like, for example, type on Google. I'm looking for something, and you type a few letters. Oh, my God, it's come up exactly what I was thinking. Ha, huh, funny that. What is that? An algorithm. What's that? Part of AI technology. Well, AI create. AI is the thoughts. Because the mind of thoughts, not you. You are what is felt through the heart, right? And if you want to expand your horizons, right, and discernment and to understand what's going on in the world, drop in the heart. There is no limitation to what can be felt. But I tell you, there's a lot of limitation to thought. And it's that, and that's why we've been conditioned to use that discernment. So we're, we're, we're kept in the dark, literally. Because we're facilitating the dark, the void, the black hole. Right? So, so at the moment, and then AI makes it think that we created it. No, we didn't. It was them the whole time. And the majority of humanity thinks AI is a technology. Well, AI, artificial. So when you go to a grocery store, do you innately think, well, the best thing for my body and my health is to eat things with artificial ingredients in it? No, natural ingredients. So we're already adopting an intelligence that's not our innate intelligence, it's something else, which will always have its own agenda. And it's an intelligence, not technology. In the physical sense, it's an intelligence, it's a consciousness. Right? Very interesting stuff, right? Humanity going, what's, hu what's happening on the collective level? Now, how does that all tie in with this new product? Right? Because I believe everybody needs this. Right? But I'm going to go into specifics for the people that definitely need that and what we're finding. Also with incision work. You know, I mentioned cancer coming from the void. What we've found, we're working a lot on people's nervous system because a lot of the stuff in the void hides out in the nervous system because it's in survival mode waiting for that individual to have a trauma or have a mishap where they lose their self-awareness and they shift into the mind, all of a sudden create a state that supports what comes through the void and that comes out of the nervous system from a survival mode now where it can thrive. For example, cancer. What we've found with clients with cancer, especially even people that are, feel like they're in remission, right? No cancer cells can be picked up. There's no tumors. But everything that we perceive or experience on the physical is bound to a consciousness, including us. So cancer has that. It's hiding out in the nervous system. So this is why we see a lot of people, people in remission, a few years later, oh, cancer comes back. It might not be in the same area, it might be a different area. They go and see an oncologist or a practitioner and they go, oh no, because the cancer's in a different area. This is a different cancer. No, it's not, right? There's Cancer is just cancer. That intelligence was there all along, right? Hidden in that nervous system, waiting for the moment to thrive again. And then you see the cellular development of cancer, and then you see the tumor. Okay, so we've seen that. We've worked with clients with that situation where we're using this form of energetic to drive those parasitic intelligence. Cancer is an example out of people's nervous systems back through the mind and back to the void where it comes from okay and how this does that is because this facilitates 
quantum energy, your light, to flood the nervous system with your light. Right? So you take over your nervous system again. Right? Now, I've been wearing it for the last few weeks, and it's been a very really interesting experience and development where I feel like not only I'm, because for a while I've been, you know, facilitating a very expansive field and it keeps expanding, right? The more we open our heart up, the more expand our aspects of ourselves, a consciousness through the quantum, our field just keeps expanding out infinitely because we're infinite, right? At that, at that you know, if we, on the other side of the door of the heart and the quantum, there's no limitation applied to us, none. So why, is, why do we feel like we're always limited? Here. It's the mind. It's always been the mind. Right? So this has been great to, you know, not only bring your, that more of yourself here, which we'd say ascension, but to, to feel it and live it through your nervous system has, has been quite an experience, I've got to say. So I'm really excited about this product. Okay. Um, so who do we recommend this for? For everybody, if it was up to me, right? But in particular, as I say, people that have got suffering or having problems with cancer, definitely must. Um, even people in remission, uh, individuals suffering with PTSD and traumas, right? Because the thing about traumas, right, is, is it was, it, it, it might be a, a bunch of events, but for most people, it's an event that happened in their life in the past, now part of their past. Now, the problem with trauma is not that traumatic event, it's the fact that it continually influences the individual moving forward in their life, right? Which is really the past continually influencing that person's choices and what they're perceiving and processing now to create a future that reflects their past, right? A reminder of that trauma. So to the point where it feels like that trauma is a monkey on that person's back. They can't seem to get rid of or shrug off. Now that's affecting your creative process because your future is created by the choices you make in the moment, in the now. But if you allow the past to influence that, of course you're going to create a future that reflects the past. And you know when we get more into the heart and get this quantum aspect into play, your power is being more as self-aware as you can in the moment, right? So you can make a choice in the moment that's only bound to the moment, which forges a new direction that has nothing to do with your past or feeding those traumas. Now, how that connects to what comes through the void and through the mind, right? These parasitic intelligence, they want you to be reeling in, in the memory of traumas because then... As a creator, you use this expansive energy you come from to create fear, worry, concern, suffering. This is all forms of frequency of energy that these parasitic energies want you to forge your light into dark that aligns with it and compromises you. Okay? Um... Anyone with an overwhelmed or hyperactive nervous system, and that's a lot of people out there like that. That's what I tend to find, again, in, in session work. Um, when somebody is mind-orientated, right, they're in the here, they're not in here, right? This is behind the steering wheel, right? Guiding, discerning how you use your attention, intention, your creative process, which is bound and connected to every moment, right? It's... It's orientating you, which means the seek and search outside of you because you believe you have voids inside of you. You lack, which means a void, right? Because you're a representation of what comes through the mind, which is the void, right? And a lot of times you seek and search for the very things you already have and contain within you, and they're not there, they're in you. You've got to go this way, right? So, again, as I say, when we flood your nervous system with more of your light, it gives your nervous system a chance just to settle down and dial down. Because when our nervous system is over, overwhelmed, hyperactive, what happens? We become triggered 
very easily. We react and respond in a hazardous, hazardous way very easily, which means that our awareness shifts away from where we are, our authenticity into here, and that no longer serves you. You now create a state that doesn't support the body. It's not a state of being. It's a state that then supports what comes through the void. So people like that, very important. Also, people that suffer with mental illness problems, you know, whether it's anxiety, panic attacks, schizophrenia, depression, bipolar, all those conditions, they are all a byproduct of a person using mentality, process of mentality to perceive and process their reality, and mentality is a byproduct of mind thought. When we drop into our heart, use that pathway of heart feel, which is where we come from, our infinite potential capacity, we don't use mentality to perceive and process reality. So it's not aligned with any form of mental illness. Where does the word mental come from? Mentality, right? Again, connected to your own creative process, right? It's you just becoming aware of that. And when you have lovely little tools like this that support you, right? It's a bit like, right? You now know, hey, I've got to change my diet, but I'm going to bring these supplements in, right? This is supplementary to supporting a new way of using your power, your creative process. Very self-empowering. So, wonderful product, Quantum Ring. If you go to my product store at trulyholistic.net, forward slash products, you'll see that right at the top of the list. Only 25 New Zealand dollars, so very inexpensive. You can wear it like a, I do here as a pendant. You can just put it in your pocket as long as it's on the body, so it's part of your field. You will be reaping the benefits. Um, so go and check it out. Um, now, is this, please like the video if you've enjoyed the content that I've shared with you. Please consider subscribing to the channel, pushing the notification bell when you know there's a new video being dropped. Um, make sure you do that. Go and check my website as well, trulyholistic.net, where we make all sorts of products like this. We also do sessions. Uh, so go and check the appointment page as well if you'd like to book a session. Till next time, catch you later.